What's it like to be the supreme leader in this house? <laughs> Am I your loyal subject? So it's been a while since we spent the day eating together. I thought we'd do a What I Eat in a Day video today. Hey guys, I'm Candice the Veg, and if you're new here, welcome. I, on this channel, show you how to make fun, tasty, delicious vegan food and show you just how easy cooking can be no matter what your skill level is. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Hi. Uh, so today I'm gonna take you through a typical day with me and just kind of some of the things that I eat throughout the day. I'm hoping that maybe it'll inspire you guys to use some of your leftovers and hopefully get some awesome meal inspiration. I'm so excited because today's video is sponsored by Bydeem. Bydeem creates high quality, stylish kitchen appliances. I'm completely obsessed. They design everything with like sleekness and style and convenience and healthful cooking in mind. So I'm gonna show you how I use some of their stuff today, but more on that a little bit later. So whether or not I make my bed kind of depends on the morning and what kind of morning I'm having, what my day is looking like, what time I get up. Um, but since you are here this morning, I'm gonna make it just for you. So making a bed in a nook is interesting. Just gotta get in on it. It's not gonna be perfect. So you can just, ta-da! So obviously there's a ton of dishes in my house at all times, I'm always cooking. So I have to go tackle these guys and then I'll see you in a sec. You don't want to do this. Don't hit me in the head. Okay, bye! You don't want to lose your other eye, do you? Okay, you can go. Bye-bye. It's okay. It's okay. Well, that's one of three sets of medications done for the day. Seeing your dog. Adopt them. So for breakfast, it changes not too much, but kind of changes a little bit depending on what I'm doing that day. If it's on one of my workout days, I tend to just have a smoothie right away, which I kind of make before I work out so that when I'm done, it's right there. But on days where I'm not working out, I tend to eat later in the day. So it's kind of like a brunch situation. So I like to make, a, what are they called? Like a bagel belt, like a bagel, lettuce, tomato, egg, and cheese. So that's what we're gonna make. I have just egg patties here. I have a bagel. I like mine with hot sauce. So I'm using this uh, pineapple habit Habanero, which I love, tomato and cheese. And I don't have lettuce, but I do have spinach, which I prefer anyway, so I'm gonna use spinach. Almost forgot homemade pickled onions. <sighs> Perfection on everything, really, but definitely on a breakfast sandwich, so good. I have a recipe for this actually, it's on my blog if you wanna make them, they're super easy. It's like five minutes. I'm gonna start by slicing the tomato and putting the bagel in the, in the toaster. And the great thing about these just egg patties is that they can go in the toaster too. So I like to just butter the bottom of my bagel. Otherwise it's kind of dry. I'm just using uh, Miyoko butter. The egg patty takes a little bit longer than the toaster. Oh, there it goes. Building the bagel, very easy, basic. You know how to make a sandwich. I'm just adding my spinach. You can use lettuce. I have my egg patty, my cheese, some tomato. I like to put some pickled onions. I love this hot sauce. It's pineapple habanero. It's gonna add a little bit of sweetness to our sandwich and some heat, obviously. And that's your bagel. There you go. Loaded, it's delicious. Good and stacked. All right, so, gotta hydrate, very important. At this point in my day, I like to eat my breakfast. I like to answer some emails, get that out of the way really quickly before I get into more pressing tasks. I try not to eat while I'm working. Some days you can't really though. So, something like just reading emails while I'm eating is like a good, easy task. Look at her. She's such a princess. How she gets through her life, I don't understand. Oh, that's right, me. Am I your loyal subject? Are you eating your boogers? <laughs> so for lunch, I like to kind of just see what's in my fridge for leftovers. As you can see, I do a lot of recipe testing and filming, so there's always so much food in the fridge. I hate food waste. I have some cabbage. This is like a mushroom, tofu, carrot, stir fry that's left over. I have some diced cucumber. I think what I'm going to do is like a bowl, cabbage, tofu bowl. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to start by heating up the tofu, mushroom, carrots, and onion. I'm gonna heat that up in a pan. For bowls, I kind of like the combination of like something cooked, something fresh, something crispy. This will be a nice combination of all of that. All right, so I'm gonna heat that up. This with the cabbage. I have some arugula I can use. 
There's some protein in there. All right, for the base of the bowl, I'm going to add some arugula, some cabbage, and then I'm going to put the mushroom tofu mixture on top of that. I'm gonna slice up the rest of this tomato as well. Might as well, oops, use it. I'll probably put them on top of the tofu, just so there's something fresh on top. For the sauce, I'm going to do a little bit of hoisin, a little bit of QP mayo. And this is vegan QP mayo. It does exist. And then some toasted sesame seeds. And there we go. A leftover, I don't know, it's kind of like a deconstructed egg roll, except I wish I had the like the crispy dough itself to put on top. That would be really good, but I don't. So the toasted sesame seeds are gonna have to do. Why not? My afternoons, they're pretty simple too. I mean, a lot of working. Some days I'm shooting videos, some days I'm writing recipes, some days I'm testing recipes. So I'll do some work, take the dogs for an afternoon walk. After this, I'll probably just do some work, take the dogs for a walk. There's a couple of house chores I wanna do. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that turned out perfect. Wow, that's a really good. Yeah, and then when I'm done work, watch some Netflix and relax. So, pretty standard day, not that interesting. Mmm. It's so good. So for dinner, I know this is not traditionally what you eat for dinner. It's usually like a breakfast brunch thing, but I've been craving dim sum and I found these steamed buns with Chinese spinach. I found egg-free wonton wrappers, which is hard to find. And I thought that we would make some dumplings and make some steamed buns and do like, like a little mini dim sum experience, which I haven't had in a really, really long time. It's hard to find like vegan dim sum where I live. And I don't really follow the traditional rules of eating in my house anyway, so we're having it for dinner. Oh, and edamame. Okay, let's cook. All right, so in a pan, we are going to heat up some olive oil, canola oil, avocado oil, whatever oil that you want. Add some garlic, some ginger, and then just cook that until it's fragrant. Literally a minute, that's it. And then we will add our mushrooms. All right, now I'm going to add some cabbage, some carrots. And again, just going to cook that until kind of like release their juices and wilt. Okay, I'm going to remove this from the heat. I'm just gonna add in some crumbled tofu, along with some soy sauce, you can also use tamari if you want, and some sesame seed oil. And just mix that together, and then let it cool so you can touch it, because you're going to have to fill the wonton wrappers with it. All right, at this point, we are going to wrap our dumplings. I will admit, I don't know how to do all the different fancy folds, so I'm just gonna do something very, very basic. I have my wonton wrappers here. I have my filling. I'm just gonna add one tablespoon of the filling into the wonton wrapper, wet my fingers, and then dab the outside to kind of create like a glue, and that's going to help seal the, the wonton wrapper with the filling on the inside, and then we're going to steam it. All right, so we're taking a tablespoon of filling, kind of like an assembly line here, steamer. To cook these, I'm going to use a steamer. You guys have seen the steamer before. It's by Bideam. I love this thing. It makes steam in about one minute, so it's super fast, which is awesome. The fact that this heats up in one minute and is ready to go and ready to steam is amazing and definitely cuts down on your cooking time. I'm gonna use the steamer to cook steam buns as well as the dumplings and then also the edamame. All right, now that all of the wonton wrappers are filled, I'm gonna go around, wet my finger in some water around the outside here. Like I said, I mean, I could attempt to do some of these fancy folds, but I'm not about to insult people that are really good at this and embarrass myself. What I'm going to do is just fold them in half. And if you find that you do have too much filling, just take some out. So you can do it like this, which is just in half, or I've also like bunched them all and it's like a little, a little bag. And then you have your little dumpling. If you have kids, I think this is a great way to get some help in the kitchen and it's like fun for them. It's like a fun little craft or something. You can probably end up with some wild shapes too. And then I've just lined the plate that the steamer comes with, with some parchment paper, just so that it's easy to take off the plate and doesn't stick to the bottom. And then you have your little half moon dumplings. All right, so this is my by Deem steamer. You guys have seen it before. I love it. It's, first of all, it's so cute. I love the stylish design of it all, and it's just so great to use. If you steam a lot of food, you need something like this. So much faster than doing it on the stovetop. So we're just gonna fill it up with water. It has the max and min line there. And what's actually great is if you're steaming for a really long time, instead of taking everything apart and having to refill this, like I'm doing right here, you actually have these little water inlets right here. So so you can just fill it up from the side if you're in the middle of steaming and you notice that the water is really low. I love like a smart design like that. Another great thing about this guy is that it's so quiet. It doesn't have a ton of, like it doesn't have any spray back. It's really quiet, it's compact. So when you close it up, you don't even really hear it at all, <laughs> which not usually the case with steam. I love that about it as well. You can directly steam like right on here or on your 
little plate. Because it's so quick, we're gonna be able to steam the dumplings, the steam buns, and the edamame really, really quickly. It also has this drip tray right here, so the steam from the food can go right into here, not right back into the water and not into the food, which is super handy. And this little plate actually comes with it. It's the perfect size. Put it on there and it fits nice and large. It's definitely wider than if you were to use a stovetop steamer basket. It's nice and long, so depending on what you're, like I could fully steam asparagus with this, which is a thing that I do. All right, it has this nice menu. You can steam, you can make yogurt in it, you can slow cook in it. There's presets. You can also just keep things warm in it as well. And it has this little suggested steam time on the side here. So if you don't know how long to steam something for, the cook time, you can just look it up there instead of Googling it. So we're on steam. I'm gonna set the timer here for 10 minutes and hit start. All right, and these are also eight to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna sprinkle that with a little bit of lemon salt because we're bougie and the combination is so good. It was good, right? Very good. Really good. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. Let me know in the comment section if you did. Hopefully I inspired you to create something new in your kitchen. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix. Enjoy this vegan peanut butter cup. Drink some water, we all need to hydrate. Definitely make sure that you check out By Dean Steamer and all of their other amazing appliances. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box down below. Click on them, check them out. I think you're really gonna like them. All right guys, as always, make sure to check out my other videos if you're looking for delicious vegan cooking inspiration. I'll see you next time, bye.